Hi Libra, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading. Uh, for the time period, January 19th through the 25th, you guys. I hope you guys are all well, okay? This is going to be your love reading. What are their true intentions in love with you? Don't forget your moon and your rising and your Venus. Keep forgetting to say that. Uh, videos, okay? Um, now before I begin, I would like to thank everybody so far for all the likes, sub subscribes, uh, Gee, it's hard to say subscribes really fast, right? <laughs> and the shares, okay, and the personal readings. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys rock. Now, as usual, I have two decks here, guys, and, um, you know, for more perfect message here and undeniable messages, all right? Now, also, um, I am going to be going over to Vimeo, you guys. The link will be below with their true intentions, what they're hiding what they're afraid of, the potential between you guys, and their true intentions in love with you, okay? And also, uh, just a quick heads up, guys, these readings are only $8.99 for all the extendeds, okay? So you can cross-watch, and private readings right now are still on special for $22, bucks. All right, You can't really beat that, okay? So the link is below, and the information is in the About section, okay, guys? Now, um, the bottom of the deck is the... Hermit and the Empress, okay? You could be dealing with a Virgo here. That could be the case here. I do have a lot of Pentacle cards here. Um, and the Empress is showing up here, you know, which can talk about many things. It can talk about bringing something to fruition here. can talk about, you know, nurturing and abundance and a beautiful woman. could be a pregnant woman, but there are, you know, it, it can be a lot of things, okay? So let's get started here, and we will be able to, you know... Reveal that, right? Why the Empress is showing up here. And um, the current energy, yours, Libra, is the Nine of Cups, your past energy, the Eight of Pentacles. You're seeing them as the Two of Swords. Their energy is the Five of Swords. Not very good energy. Their past energy is the Four of Wands. The Hangman is in the reverse as how they view you. The Ace of Swords is the Situation. The Magician, the Challenge. The Sun card is what they are hiding. The Three of Cups is what they are afraid of. And the Chariot is the potential for you guys. Their true intentions with you is the Queen of Pentacles. So, um, you know, I'm going to be... Uh, these cards, I'm sorry, are already clarified. All right, Libra? <laughs> and, um, you know, they're really taking on a new life here with these clarifications. Okay, so let's see uh, what kind of transformation we've come up here with these clarifications. Okay? Now, your current energy is the Nine of Cups here, you know, with the Fool card and the Emperor in the reverse. I feel like what's going on here is that you are feeling out of control in a situation, and it is involving your wish, all right? Whoever you're dealing with here is or was your wish, and this lack of control here with the Emperor, okay, is making you take a leap of faith to go out on your own, okay? Uh, you want some order and some control in your love life, okay? This is how this looks. Your past energy is the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups in the reverse here. Oddly enough, or interestingly enough, the Four of Pentacles is down here as well, okay? So, you know, um, there is something going on here where you are holding on to something. You could be holding back. Also, this can be stubborn energy, all right, or greedy energy, okay? Somebody could be, um, no judgment intended, Libra, but sometimes this can just be like trying to hold on to money, okay? Um, I'm sure you have your reasons here. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like in the past, you know, you could have been investing in something, right? Or working hard, you know, in a situation, and you were trying to hold on to something, but you came out of confusion about it. You could have also dropped an option here with the Seven of Cups in the reverse here, okay? So um, you are seeing them as the Two of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles here, all right? So you're seeing them as maybe at a stalemate about whether or not they want to be single or not with these cards, okay? You could also be seeing them as blocking you out here um, because they are now single. I'm going to get one more card here. Why does uh, Libra's Why does Libra see their person as the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords? Why is Why is Libra seeing their person as the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, please? The Five of Wands. So yeah. So 
This is about competition, guys, within a situation. It can also be about fighting, okay? They could be at a crossroads about whether or not they want to be single here because um, of competition or fighting, okay? Um, and this is how you're seeing them. Their current energy is the Five of Swords. They could be, you know, they could be the one who is combative here. This is mean energy, okay? Just so you know here, okay? Showing up with the King of Pentacles, you know, over here you could be trying to hold on to money here. That could be the case here with these two Pentacle cards. I feel like there is, uh, there could be an element of money here, or you are dealing with an Earth sign, all right? Money or stability here, because that is what the Earth element, you know, represents, one of them. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, and remember at the bottom of the deck was the Hermit. So some of you guys are probably dealing with a Virgo, okay? Okay, so their current energy is the Five of Swords, kind of the mean energy here. It can be one-upping somebody or mind games. It can also just be having somebody in a third party, all right? Now, it's with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is kind of unreliable, a bit of a player here with the Knight of Wands, um, you know, and they could be working on their stability here. They could be. They could be taking action regarding their stability, but I feel like you are just dealing with somebody who is kind of unreliable, player-ish, and they are the Five of Swords, which is, you know, they're kind of like playing mind games, okay? This is how this is looking here. Or they are just kind of, you know, they have this mean energy about them. Their past energy here is the Four of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Two of Pentacles. So this is what I mean. Whoever you're dealing with was juggling you. This is how this is looking. This is probably why the Seven of Cups is in the reverse over here. Um, yes, you could have came out of confusion about a situation, right? But I feel like you could have also, um, you know, just felt like uh, maybe somebody was letting you go or something like that as an option, um, or you felt like maybe in the past you were an option. Something to that effect, okay? This Four of Wands with this High Priestess here, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces, um, you know, the hangman is over here twice in your reading, which does uh, indicate Pisces, or it implies Pisces, rather. Um, I feel like in the past, though, they could have been keeping a secret here with the High Priestess and the Two of Pentacles, and they were juggling that secret, okay? This is becoming super clear, Libra. Whoever you're dealing with is, you know, uh, Mr. Third Party or Mr. Player, all right? Now, they're seeing you as, you know, the hangman in the reverse, and the Lovers, and the Eight of Swords, they're seeing you as, you know, not making a sacrifice here um, about a Lovers, you know, about like a soulmate situation here. You're all stuck up in your head, and you're in this mental prison with the Eight of Swords, all right? This is how they are seeing you here. Um, I feel like they could have tried to put you there because, you know, the Five of Swords over there is their current energy, and that is somebody who is, you know, can play mind games, right? But they, I feel like they're also seeing you as coming out of the hangman mode. Um, you know, like you, you know, you were trying to enlighten yourself, and you, they could be seeing you as trying to make a choice in a situation with the lovers card. All right, and but that you are in a mental prison and it's hard to do so. Now, the other thing is that you know, whoever you're dealing with could be a Pisces, and they are in the reverse here as the hanged man here about you know. Um, about a lover situation, right? About a love relationship here, and they are seeing you all, you know, stuck up in your head about them, like conflicted about them, okay? And this love partnership. Either about them or making a choice about them, okay? The situation between you guys is the Ace of Swords, and I feel like with the Six of Cups and the Hangman again, okay? This time the hangman is in the upright. You know, I have the Six of Cups down here. I feel like the situation is that there is some clarity, possibly, about a soulmate or somebody from the past here. And somebody is trying to enlighten themselves in a situation here where they have gained clarity about somebody from the past. This could be you. You could be looking for clarity here with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Um, or there could just be some truth here, right? 
um, about somebody from the past, I feel like there could be a Pisces involved in the situation for some of you guys, okay? Now, um, there could also, yeah, okay, so let's go on here, you guys. The Magician and the Nine of Wands is with the Six of Swords in the reverse, okay? This is the challenge, rather, and this is part of the challenge, the Six of Swords in the reverse. Somebody is stuck here. You know, there could be a need to move on because of arguing and just issues and lies and things like that here. The Five of Swords can talk about lies here, all right, um, mind games. But somebody, the challenge here is that this is stuck here and it probably needs to, you know, in some way come to an end because of this person that you're dealing with here. Their energy is, you know, um, there's not a lot of integrity from this person, okay? And, um, you know, with the magician, the challenge here is to manifest, somebody's trying to manifest something here, but they're guarded. That's the situation here. I feel like they're guarded because they are stuck, and somebody feels like they are unable to move away from the situation. And that is impacting or challenging, you know, this, you know, union here between you and whoever you're dealing with or you know this partnership all right so i'm going over to vimeo libra for the extended and going to be revealing what they're hiding what they're fearing the potential here and what they really want their true intentions with you on vimeo okay guys and the link is below thank you so much